Hey Dave, how you doing? Ted Malone here at NAB 2019 in lovely Las Vegas. Um, although I can't complain, check out this suite we have at the Wynn. We're having some fun here. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and show you a little bit of the demo that we've got set up. Okay, so here is our demo set up at the show. So for the live demo, we're using an uh, Airwaves tuner connected to a Linux PC and we're receiving a live signal over the air from um, a Sinclair uh, a temporary broadcast head end that they have set up for NAB. So it's not a, um, Las Vegas is not a trial market for ATSC3, so there's not a live broadcast here, uh, but Sinclair for the NAB show brought their own uh, portable head end. So the antenna here feeds that signal into the PC the PC then spits it out via ethernet. And then over here, we have just a standard bolt box 500, just an off the shelf bolt, but we've modified the software to receive and tune the live channel that's coming over the air. So this is um, an HD channel for uh, one, they have it branded one media. So this, uh, anybody who was at the show might have seen this uh, particular demo video on other places. So this is a loop that they're playing um, off this uh, uh, demo head end at NAB, and then it's broadcasting out over ATSC3. We also have um, audio, so I can go ahead and, uh, and play the audio. And then you can see that the, uh, the ATSC3 signal is coming over IP, um, basically just like an IPTV signal would, and at which point it just gets buffered into um, the TiVo's trick play buffer. So I can pause, um, I can play, um, I can turn on quick mode um, and play back um, in quick mode. So all of the traditional trick play um, recording capabilities, everything on the Bolt would be possible with this type of a setup. Um, we would really just be using um, the outboard ATSC3 tuner with a processing engine. So if we were to productize this, we would take the technology that's in the tuner and a little bit of processing power um, and turn it into uh, basically a network tuner that would then be able to be used with a Bolt or um, or a mini Vox or something that has 4K capabilities um, so that you would be able, if you were in a, one of the trial markets for ATSC3, you'd be able to receive and um, record and play back those channels. So that's at least the kind of proof of concept that we're trying to show here. Okay, so now what I've done is um, I've disconnected from this antenna and instead I'm um, uh, feeding the airwaves tuner with um, a DECTEC ATSC3 emulator or uh, modulator, which uh, sends a sample feed into the same uh, PC that's formulating the signal as an IPTV stream that is compatible with the TiVo. So in this case, it's a standard definition broadcast from um, an Arizona PBS channel. So this is standard def ATSC3. And then if I channel change up, um, what we'll get is, uh, let's see, there should be an HD stream here. Yep, so we've got an HD stream of the Price is Right. Um, and then um, if I channel up again, we have a 4K stream. Huh, the channel up keeps going two channel numbers. So here's a 4K stream from the movie Fast and the Furious. So, uh, 4K stream coming over ATSC3 from an emulator, and then actual broadcast captures of an HD stream from ATSC3 and an SD stream from ATSC3, all playing into the same uh, bolt unit where it can be paused, rewind, trick played, recorded, etc.